Data centers use a staggering amount of electricity. New proposals are averaging between 60 and 90 megawatts per facility. For scale, a single 60 megawatt data center building will use the same amount of electricity as roughly 15,000 households. Even if a data center's large roof were covered with solar panels, it would only produce a small fraction of the power needed. When data centers are proposed in Virginia, their applications are considered and approved solely by the county, city, or town that they'll be built in. The locality considers each application individually on its merits, how much tax revenue it'll generate, how it will look, the specifics of its design, and then they make a decision. Taken individually, a single new data center might not seem like it has far-reaching impacts, but one has to look at all of the facilities being approved across the region together to get a true sense of their total cost. However, there is nobody at the state or federal level keeping track of all the proposals and the cumulative impact that dozens or even hundreds more data centers will have as they come online. So as much as data centers will say that they're carbon neutral, uh, their existence puts a lot of different renewable energy goals at risk. Most places energy usage is going down or is staying flat because of increased energy efficiency. In Virginia, it is spiking up and doubling, and, and that's solely as a result of data centers. Over the next 15 years, Dominion forecasts that it will need to produce twice as much power as it currently does, nearly an additional 23 gigawatts, in order to cover the demand of current and future data centers. That is equivalent to more than 5.5 million households, or 12 North Anna nuclear plants worth of additional power, just for data centers. And now what we're seeing is this increased demand is not going to be filled with renewable energy. It's in fact going to be built with natural gas facilities. And so rather than taking natural gas offline and coal offline to reach our renewable energy goals by 2050, what we're seeing now is Dominion is now talking about opening a new plant in Chesterfield, for example, and increasing amounts of projects that are you know, really counterintuitive in terms of climate change and in terms of Virginia reaching its clean energy goals. I think for folks such as myself, I have, I have two young kids. All of these things are interconnected and, and we need to really get a sense of what that impact is because it's, it's particularly for younger folks, uh, it's, it's going to be a part of their future.